want to do is give you a quick update from where we were last time and tell you what we know um, and where we're at. Um, so just to clarify, when we talked about the, uh, the number of victims before, we, do, we did transport four victims um, to the hospital for treatment. Uh, three of those victims had suffered injuries as a result of uh, gunshot wounds. The fourth victim was transported for an injury suffered that was not the result of a gunshot wound, but um, uh, I believe it was an uh, ankle injury suffered trying to get away or flee the scene. So I just want to make that one that point clear um, as, I, as, as I can so everybody, uh, everybody knows. Um, we're kind of in the process of transitioning um, our work now. It's transitioned more uh, from a tactical or active fluid situation to more of a static investigative um, effort. And we are going to be out here for some time. Um, I can't tell you there's no immediate threat to the community. Um, I'd like to thank all of our, our partners and allied agencies. Um, it was truly a collaborative effort. As you can imagine, this is a, uh, a large endeavor and requires a, a large response. And uh, it, it went very, very well. And we're grateful to those folks. We're also grateful to the folks at YouTube. Uh, every, all, the, all of their employees uh, responded to this uh, in an exceptional manner and provided support not only to us, but to their employees. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we are transitioning. We anticipate being out here through the night as part of our investigative effort. I don't anticipate having additional information prior to sometime tomorrow uh, based on the, the, the methodical steps we have to take to process the scene and go through the investigation. So that's pretty much all I have for you right now. Is the suspect still inside? Or did I'm they, sorry? Did they take the suspect already, the coroners? Or? Uh, the coroner is still uh, processing that. Um, I don't have information that they've, um, what they've done with the, with the suspect. Was the suspect an employee? Uh, we have not confirmed that. I don't know that for a fact. So the three shooting victims, and one was the was the person that the self inflicted. No, no, I'm sorry. There were three. There were three victims of the shooting. Right, and, and then, then the the, that's not including the fourth person that is we believe to be the shooter that was a self inflicted. Okay. Yeah. No, I, that was asked before. I, we don't know that, and frankly, it's been a, a very short time, and uh, we we had to work with the coroner even to ID this person. We we know very very little right now, and we probably won't know more until until, until tomorrow. I don't have any information. Okay. I don't know that at all. Can you give the shooter's name? Uh, the door. There were people fleeing from outside the building, so my understanding is those doors were open uh, because of people uh, exiting the building. So I don't think that was an issue going in. Is there been reports out there that domestic violence may have been involved? Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any information regarding that at all. How long did it take to evacuate all the people? Uh, to conduct, well, we just finished the, the slow methodical search just a few, just a, about a half hour or so ago. The way we do it is in an active shooter situation. As you can imagine, our first priority is, is to address the threat. So the first officers on scene immediately entered the uh, the building to to identify and stop the threat or address the threat. After we do that, uh, we conduct a cursory search to make sure that there's no obvious threats there, and then we, we want to cover all the bases. So what, what's taken so long? Is that we've uh, developed we developed search teams to search the the building floor by floor, room by room, in a slow, methodical manner to make sure that that we've uh, we've located and identified each of the threats. And at this point, we believe that we have. Uh, I believe it was in a courtyard area um, of the of the building. As far as um, how she entered, I don't have that, or through which door, I don't have that specific information. Can Has the shooter been identified? What time this happened and what your officers saw when they arrived? Yeah, the, I believe we got the we got calls of shots being fired at 12:46 this afternoon. Um, we had three officers uh, arrive within two minutes, so I think we were on scene at 12:48. They entered the building and saw a large, obviously a large number of people fleeing the building. They encountered, as I mentioned in our earlier conference, they uh, they identified one victim at the front door, main entrance of the building. Um, they checked on that person and, and YouTube employees, to their credit, helped us by standing by with that person so the officers could immediately enter uh, to go search for the threat. And then um, within minutes, uh, because it's a very large building, we, we found what we found after that. Was it the case of domestic violence? Right. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't have any information. to. I don't, I don't know that at all. I, I, we're not even close to that yet. What kind of weapon was used in the game? Uh, I don't know the name of the shooter. I don't have that yet, but the uh, it was a handgun. I, I don't know the specific make or model. Chief, can you clarify whether the shooter was she found outside or inside? Well, it was inside the complex. There's an open area inside the complex where this took place, and she was in that vicinity. Outdoors, but on. The yes. Complex. 
Yeah, it was in a courtyard type. So not in the cafeteria. Was she armored? I'm sorry? Was she wearing armor? I don't have any information to suggest to to know that she was. I haven't been told that. And so, to be clear, there was five people with gunshots total, including the shooters. So four people no, we we transported four people to the hospital. One of those that were transported had a um, a non gunshot related injury, so they were fleeing from the scene. And I believe they twisted or broke their ankle. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know that for a fact. But there were uh, three gunshot uh, injuries that were transported to the hospital, in addition to our suspects, who we believe suffered from a self-inflicted shot. Do you know the conditions the of the three other employees of YouTube? I don't. Do you know were if the they were all employees of YouTube? I don't know who they were. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I don't have that information. Was she deceased before officers arrived? Uh, that's my understanding, but I, I again, I, the coroner's working out that all up. I don't have any of that specific. Sorry, the shooting was in the patio of the building. Is it? Uh, no, there's a courtyard open area in the building. It's, inside, a, it's, the it's inside. It's inside the, the complex. I'll take. I'll take one more, and then I'm going to sneak out of here. I'm sorry. Oh, it depends on where you're parked. YouTube has been great uh, with with uh, helping us uh, as far as providing services for the employees that are kind of stranded. Um, some of those cars are are located within a crime scene, so we're working on transportation and, and and how we can help them out. We're hoping to scale everything down progressively through the night. So I can't give you specific information because a lot of it will depend on where where those cars are located because it's a fairly large complex. Uh, there, where I, we're working with YouTube to provide transportation and other services to those folks. Alrighty. Yeah, the building is completely secure. There's no threat to, to any type of public safety. The onus now is on us, frankly, with law enforcement. We have our crime lab folks out here, and we have the corner out here, um, and we'll be. It'll be. It'll be a long, long night for those folks. We'll be out here all night, and it'll be a. It'll be a long processing. Processing the scene. That's correct. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you very much. And again, I don't anticipate having um, any more information today. We'll try to provide some follow-up inform information tomorrow if we if we have some. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so Chris Dale here. I'm the head of communications for YouTube. Can you spell your name? Uh, um, D as in David. A L E. I'm just going to issue a short statement, um, and I'm not going to be taking any questions. But I will say this: um, we are an incredibly tight-knit um, uh, community. Uh, within YouTube, where it feels like a family. Today, it feels like the entire uh, community of YouTube and, and all of the employees uh, uh, were victims of this crime. Our hearts go out to, to those who suffered in this particular uh, attack, and uh, our prayers are with uh, them and their families. I also wanted to acknowledge that uh, a debt of gratitude to uh, Chief Barberini and uh, uh, the rest of the San Bruno Police Department. They're incredibly fast and their rapid response worked very well. Um, and so we uh, deeply appreciate them along with the Mayor's Office and Congressman Jackie Spears' office.